Latin is so boring. I just want to get back to my Archie comics. Come on, man. Latin isn't boring. Check it. Gaul is divided in two, three. Caesar was the man who accounted this to be. The river separates the Gauls from the Aquani. I just don't know how this applies to me. I'm going back to reading some Archie. Go serpents! Just listen, I'm not done. Geography has nothing to do with war. Stupid mortal. Geography is the plane that war is fought on. Just as Caesar, he already caught on. Peek this! Wait, I think I'm getting it. The Helvetii were a group above the rest, and the Skull sought to put that to the test. Orgeterix was a wealthy man who had an intricate battle plan! Setting fire to their homes, they brought the milled grain. Ohms, Orgeterix was the leader of the people until treason stood in his path. Suicide was his ultimate demise when they were caught from the spies. Though their leader had met his end, the Helvetii decided to depart once again. Okay, this is starting to make sense. But how come they went the path that they did? Different routes both result in the same, but one was the safer of the two. Running between the Ura Mountain and the Rhone River, it served no purpose because the other was quicker. The other path led through Geneva, across a bridge to unsure territory. The Helvetii decided to ask the Allobroges to trek across the land, but it did not go as planned. When Caesar was told about the march, he came running to them to make his part. He sent an order for more troops and had the bridge cut down. What a hoot! Wait a minute, I'm invested in this. How does the story end? I'll tell you this, it's all I know. Caesar remembered Lucius Cassus and all the harm that had been done to the masses. He delayed the action that could be made until the eyes of April came.